Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here with another video about curly hair and today I wanted to do a topic that no one really talks about is the fact that your hair is not frizzy, at least not in the way that you think it is. So I, I want to go through a story that happened to me recently. Um, I met someone who said that they have curly hair and that, um, you know, they wish their hair looked like mine, etc., etc. And I, I uh, thank them for it. I appreciate that. But they said that their hair, like it was, um, it looked quite coarse and that they could never get the defined curls that they wanted. And it's always been like that. So I walked her through kind of her routine. I wanted to know what she does, what she has been doing kind of over the years that has made her think that this is how it is. So she said that because she likes to comb her hair, she would do it even when it is dry. And she would comb her hair every day. And my heart, my like entire being was destroyed when I heard this, especially as a curly girl who would never ever brush her hair uh, outside of the shower under certain conditions and I'll go through those. But I told her that um, to immediately stop doing that. Um, that's definitely not good for your hair ever if you have curly hair like mine or any type of shape, any type of curl, because you have open pores and that's what makes that natural curl. And you don't want to kind of fuss with it. You, you want to make sure that it's flowing, that it feels healthy, that it feels closed instead of the open pores like that. Um, and so I told her to immediately stop doing that. And then I walked her through some of the routines. So this is what I told her. Um, the only time you should ever brush your hair is in the shower after you've conditioned it. So once you're done shampooing, you apply your conditioner and then you can start to comb it. One, it is lubricated. It'll go through it much better and it won't hurt. Um, and two, it's not damaging or frizzing your hair so much um, because of that lubrication. And it also spreads that uh, conditioner throughout your hair so that it is, it is even all throughout and you feel like you've um, conditioned all of it or at least from this part down. So once you do that, um, the next time you're gonna brush your hair is the next time you wash your hair and you don't touch it. So um, you wash your hair out and rinse it out and everything. And then um, I told her because her hair has been damaged for so many years um, that she's not going to see results right away. She's going to see it when it starts to grow out that the new found hair is not going to be as damaged or as coarse. So I told her to use whatever oil that she has. She happened to have jojoba oil, which is actually pretty good for your hair too. I've never used it, but um, I hear good things. Um, I personally use um, argan oil, which is like my go-to for ends and other oils for the tops, but definitely the ends, I use something that my hair is going to absorb. So I told her to apply that after the shower and she was the kind of like no fuss type and like she's like mm, I don't like to do much with my hair or spend too much time on it. So I was like at least use this oil. You have it. It's in your it's in your cu cupboard. Just use it. Um, so then she started to say that, you know, she could feel like there was like things after two, one or two days. Um, and so she's like, she would just tap it with her comb. And that's a great method. So I want to share that with you. If you feel like you really must brush it and like it's really, um, you really feel, have an inkling for it. All you just got to do is like tap it a little bit, a little bit of shake over there. I use my hand sometimes to kind of just give it a massage in there to make sure like, there's the scalp feels alive, uh, but otherwise you just need to brush it and that's when you kind of know it's time to go to the shower. Um, and yeah, that's it. And she doesn't use any other products even though I do recommend using something that'll stabilize the frizz. Um, 
because that's it's going to be the only way you'll get the frizz out. And this is my few days hair, so that's why you'll see some frizz still. And frizz is okay, and that's what I mean. Like, frizz is okay, but you're probably doing something wrong if you're brushing it or if you're not applying in enough, like, moisture for your hair. And also the weather contributes to frizz as well. But your hair is probably not frizzy or not what you think it is, is my final conclusion. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys come back to the channel. I've got so much to say about hair. I've got so much to say about other things. So put in the chat whatever you want to talk about, and I'd love to see you guys back here again. Bye for now.